Hello, welcome to Radio Tourette's, you shit monkeys. Today, we're gonna give a comment, or we are, the royal we. I am going to give a commentary on how to kick Zuka. Because people have asked for it a while ago, and I've just been bad and haven't fulfilled their expectations, so we're gonna do that right now. The secret, of course. The secret to Kegzuka is finding the appropriate distance between Keg and Rocket. And to this end, pretty much any surface will do. Occasionally, you will not have time to fire the rocket. That's okay. That's what your guns are for. So, here's how you do it. I'm gonna try and you've seen me use one. And the trick is it's one it's a, it's the keg toss, which you can do with a jump or like that. Or you can just chuck it over a wall, which I know you'll see later in it when we see some more fighting around the rocket itself. Lucky bitch. But it's okay. This match was very frustrating for me. Um, if you're familiar with the term carrying, that's what I did this match. Uh, kill tally is currently at 5, and it'll only go up from here. So, it finishes somewhere in the low 30s. Basically, I, I joined this server, people were noob bashing. And I do not like noob bashing. They had 30s, they were well above these guys. It's okay though. Unfortunately we don't win, but we make it close. Here's another one. You can go off the rocket, which a lot of people don't do. I don't really know why. It, the rocket's kind of nice because it's circular shaped, which means it kind of deflects the blast in an even radius. But There's so much tonics right here. Yeah. See, that's, yeah, it's one of those things. But there's just so, there was so much fighting around the rocket. It was a, it was a wonderful bloodbath. Also, I don't normally record on this map, but the other things that I tried recording on just didn't quite work out the way I'd hoped, so. We conducted a very spirited defense. So, Kegzuka. Basically, ignoring the fact that your keg will probably get eaten, because in high level games that's what tends to happen. Ignoring that, your best bet is to throw and then aim for a wall near it. And the reason for that is occasionally if you're throwing if you throw if you throw a keg and you fire the rocket directly at it, it will malfunction and it will not go off. There's no real, there's no logical reason for this bug. It's just the way it is. So, with that in mind, the best bet is a wall, since walls will also deflect your blast in a circ. In a, I talked about the rocket de deflecting it in some sort of a circular radius. Well, walls will do it in kind of a flat square radius, which is good when you're trying to detonate one of the detonate one of your baby kegs. Now this keg, I want to say this is level 5 keg, but I'm not positive. So obviously it's not gonna, you're gonna be able to do this regardless of what level keg it is, but your effectiveness will, will uh, it won't diminish at all. I should also mention that doing the keg zuka is, does not diminish damage at all from you know, the keg going off without you hitting it with a rocket. So, some people believe that. I'm going to crush that urban myth. That's bollocks. That's not how it's supposed to be. Or, pardon me, that's not how it actually is. Oh, gosh, these people. I got maybe five rocket caps in the space of maybe a minute. It's ridiculous. So, there's that. Um, if you remember my tutorial from yesterday, you can also you can also hit the ground if you're gonna try and like do a drop keg where you like throw the keg at the ground. You can also do it off the ground. It's 
not really as cool, but it still works. Yeah, by this point, I think I'm 15 and 2, give or take. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, this game, I think we should have won, but the other team, there was a lot of widget spam. There was a lot of low, there was quite, a, I, my team had a lot of low levels, which is annoying, but you know, it's what happens sometimes. That, by all rights, should not have done that, but, you know, whatever. We were still able to conduct a defense for a little while yet. And then they took it. Yeah. The rocket, the tail fins of the rocket are, are very strange when trying to deflect things off of it, so don't aim for that. Aim for the body of the rocket. It'll also hopefully push it down. <sighs> there was so much grenade spamming. Da, da, da. This map is not my favorite by any stretch, but this mode is certainly better than the standard one. It really should have two rockets, though. Okay, there's a long one, and then I angled it. The trick is you need to throw the keg well before you fire the rocket, other for obvious reasons, really. Um, mostly because it'll screw up things down the line. Don't really know why this is. My screen's going black here. Um, sometimes it does that. There's really no reason for it to, though. You can see the blatant tonic chugging right there, which I attribute to how they were able to hold it for so long. If I had been doing that, we wouldn't have had a problem at all. Kind of makes me wish I did, but you know, whatever. Also, a lot of blasts kept us off. Was able to kill a lot though. Able to torch them. Torch the bastards. Um, on an unrelated note, I started watching a TV show called Supernatural, which I think some of you might have heard of. Um, very quality show, so if you need something to watch over the summer months, then by all means, can, you should watch that. Good serious material. That one was botched. That ke that would have been a pretty good Kegzuka, except that I, I mean, I got a kill off of it, but... Oftentimes it's better to get the damage rather than the kill, because it forces your opponents to go back. I mean, I guess killing them does that too, but sometimes you just need to send a message. Ugh, this was annoying. And I did my damnedest to get them out of that rocket area. And occasionally too, I, you will botch some, and there's really nothing you can do. It's just going to happen. Yeah. Anyway, that was a very frustrating gameplay, but ba that's the basic principle for the Kegzuka, is throw and aim for surface or... Throw and aim for surface and or wall or tree. I didn't do it in this one, but you can do it on trees as well. Um, Beast 2 should be out on Sunday, so you have that to look forward to, and I've been looking forward to it for a very long time, so you should as well. 11 treasure chests. I'm never going to go through them all don't even actually know. So thank you guys. Uh, another tutorial coming soon. Thank you and goodbye.